chemistry. What is chemistry? Chemistry that we know nowadays, it was developed as a result of some curiosity questions like what it is, what it is made of and how it can be made. This kind of questions help the scientists to develop the field of chemistry that has now become so vast that it affects every aspect of our life. In this scientific term, chemistry is the study of matter. It deals with the structure and composition of matter. It explains the properties and reactions of a substance. And it explains many physical chemical phenomena of matter. For example, why ice melts with the rise in temperature from zero degrees and then it boils with increasing heat to 100 degrees. What is the composition of water? and why the hydrogen and oxygen are present in certain ratio in water. Why it has got certain properties like melting point, boiling point, molar mass, etc. Why carbon can occur in nature as diamond and coal. Why coal is black and diamond is transparent. Although both of them are carbon. Another allotrope of carbon is graphene. It's a form of carbon consisting of planar sheets which are one atom thick only. And in, this th in these sheets, the atoms are arranged in a honeycomb-shaped lattice. That's an amazing thing to be known as an allotrope of carbon as compared to the graphite or diamond. The carbon nanotubes that are often referred to as single wall carbon nanotubes, they have the diameters in the range of nanometer. That's why they're called nanotubes. Single wall carbon nanotubes are one of the allotropes of carbon. And they're intermediate between the fullerene cages and flat graphene. How the carbon atoms are linked on the, in all these structures, they are very interesting questions as all of them are made of pure carbon but have varied physical chemical properties and characteristics. Now let's talk about the applications of chemistry. The very first miracle of chemistry is the human body itself. Roughly 96% of the mass of the human body is made of just four elements, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen, with a lot of that in the form of water. Chemistry of living organisms that covers all the chemical processes such as synthesis and metabolism of biomolecules like carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, it's called biochemistry. It has helped in the field of medicines to understand the causes and treatments of various diseases and in pharmaceutical industry for drug dis discovery and development. Extended applications of it include um, in the field of genetic engineering, food sciences, and agriculture. In 2021, if we talk about the recent application, applied chemistry has become increasingly important as it is contributing to the development of new materials like solar cells, fuel cells, batteries, our everyday gadgets, and devices. This research involves the collaboration of four disciplines that are physical chemistry, material chemistry, environmental engineering, and chemistry, environmental chemistry, and chemical engineering and as collectively called the material science. Not only this, our high-tech Silicon Valley that, you, that could only came into being due to the collaborative research in the silicon chemistry. Now, if you talk about the analytical chemistry applications, it's not only helping us in the quality control in the industries, it is also contributing to recent discoveries such as the presence of water on Mars and adding new elements to the periodic table. And it is contributing in the environmental sustainability. Another exciting application of chemistry is quantum chemistry. It's based on the research on the structure and properties of atom. Quantum chemistry strives to accurately predict chemical and physical properties of molecules and materials, which is useful to many fields of science and engineering. Other industrial applications of chemistry include cleaning and disinfectant products, paints, pigments, mining and metallurgy industries, and last but not the least, the petroleum industry. It depends on the geo and petroleum chemistry of for resourcing, processing, and quality control of petroleum and other biofuels as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share, comment, and subscribe.